Hello Aries viewers, I'm sorry I'm a little bit behind. I ended up taking quite a few shifts at my other job uh, the past couple weeks, but I will be doing your readings on the 15th and those should be the regular length. Uh, this one might be a little bit shorter just because I'm still trying to get caught up, but as always, I'm still available for private readings though, just send me an email. So yeah, I apologize that these ones are shorter, but the ones on the 15th will be um, the regular length that they usually are. So just bear with me here. Okay, so what is going on here for the Aries that are watching those videos? What are, what's going on? We have X, the past. Overthinking, overanalyzing, self-sabotaging. Risk, reward, bold gesture, choosing love over fear. So it looks like someone is wanting to come towards you. They do want to be vulnerable with you. They do want to be receptive with you. It seems like they're getting in their head about something, though. Because we have, you know, someone from your past, and it looks like like they're debating on making some, some kind of bold move towards you. Like they're debating on sending you a message. They're thinking about... Um, and they want to open up communication. I feel like this is probably someone that you haven't talked to for a while. Or if you have talked, it's just been small talk. Like, you guys aren't really saying what needs to be said. Like, you know, you're not saying I love you. They're not saying I love you. Um, it's like there's... You're both just kind of holding back. I think that you have reason to hold back, though. I feel like this person... I don't want to call them a coward, but I just feel like they... I feel like they ruined a good thing, and I, I'm getting for this energy group, I'm getting that the reason they ruined it wasn't even a solid reason. It's almost like they just got scared, or they listened to other people's opinions, or they, you know, let too much time go by without you guys talking. Or maybe they just didn't realize that they had a chance with you. Maybe they were just too insecure to realize what was right in front of them. You know, I'm just getting the energy here of a missed opportunity. Like, there was something... It could have been like miscommunication or something of that sort, but I just get the energy that there was something solid here and this person might have sabotaged it by getting caught up in their head or getting caught up with rumors, that kind of thing. Because it feels like this person is wanting to make a bold gesture towards you. And that's also why I'm getting that, you know, maybe you guys haven't talked for a while because it's like, it feels risky to me. It, feel, it feels like there's no middle ground here is basically the energy that I get. I feel like this person can't just hit you up and be like, oh, hey, like, how is it going? Like, they know that. They they know that they, maybe you made it clear with your words or your actions or your energy. Maybe you posted something on social media or you said something to them or to a mutual friend. I'm just getting that for whatever reason, they know that there is no middle ground here. You're not going to tolerate them being half in and half out like they've been in the past. I feel like they did really love you, but they were just afraid. Um, I think they had a lot of insecurities. But I think that, you're, you know, you've developed a lot of confidence. And I think that you know what you deserve. You know that you deserve more than this. So you're not really making excuses for this person. I think that, you know, your energy, you're just radiating, radiating this, this light and this, this powerful energy. I feel like you're really stepping into your power this month. I feel like you might have some psychic gifts coming in this month as well. I just get like the and this energy of leveling up. Some of you might be going through like a dark night of the soul. You might be doing some shadow work right now. You know, this uh, this new moon that we had yesterday was really heavy. So for some of you, I feel like it might be triggering you guys. Like it might be, you know, it might be bringing up some, some childhood wounds, some wounds from past relationships, uh, traumas, pain, things that you thought you healed from that are coming to the surface now to be resolved. You know, you might be going through some stress, but honestly, um, as hard as it is, I feel like this is just, it's like you're being pulled back to, to catapult into this, this next phase of your life. It's like you're being called to clear out the things that are no longer serving you, whatever little things were holding you back. You might have had some deep-rooted traumas or things of that sort that have just been holding you back on a subconscious level without you fully being aware of it. Does that make sense? So some of you are doing the shadow work right now. Um, to prepare for this next phase of your journey. And, you know, certain people just can't go with you on this next phase. And you're still waiting to see if this person is, can or can't go with you. And the universe will bring you someone else if it's not this person, you know. Like, I do I do feel like there's more than there is more than one potential life partner here if this person fails to, to reach your level. But it's a beautiful energy, though, because it's like you're, you're more confident than you used to be. 
you're more secure. You're really finding yourself right now. You're doing some soul searching. And so I feel like you're just, you're not willing to entertain whatever behavior you entertained in the past from this person. You're not willing to let them be in and out. You know, you might have even given them an ultimatum. You might have even said, hey, like, are we doing this or are we not doing this? I'm not, I'm not doing the texts and the calls here and there. I'm not dealing with you not knowing who you are or knowing what you want. Like, I want you all in or I want you all out. Because I'm getting that this person is well aware of that. They're well aware that you're leveling up. Some of them might be watching you and they see, like, if you're on a platform, like, let's say you're a model or you're some kind of influencer, like, I feel like they're watching you or they're watching, like, your social media, like, they're spying on you and they're seeing that you're leveling up. You're reaching that next, you know, you're, you're, you're not in the same energy you were when you were with this person. And so this person isn't fully sure how to approach you. You know, it's like they, they notice that there's been a change in you. You're more confident. You're glowing. You're charismatic. You are focusing on work and career and shadow work. And um, I'm hearing soul retrieval, too. And um, maybe hobbies, exercise, going to the gym, whatever it might be. It's like you're, you're really, you're, you know, you're trying to meet your goals. And so this person knows that they can't come to you with some kind of half-ass offer. They can't come to you and just ask how you're doing casually because you'll just ignore them. So they're really trying to make some kind of bold gesture towards you. Um, for some, it could be a, a proposal. I could I, I could see this as like maybe you wanted to move in with, the, with them or they wanted to move in with you in the past, but it just didn't happen. And maybe they're wanting – I'm just getting that they're, they're wanting to take it to the next level, whether that's moving in together or whether it's like an actual proposal – or just starting the relationship back up. I'm just seeing that they're they're wanting to um, kind of almost pick up where they left off. I feel like they've been doing some soul searching and kind of seeing where they went wrong. But again, it's like you're not going to chase this person. You're just you're going to see if they're if they're willing to take this risk or not. And it, it's honestly kind of up in the air right now because you know energy is. It's like they're wanting to. I can tell by the energy that they're wanting to. And I, I don't think this person has much more time to do this because you're leveling up so quickly. You're going through, if you haven't already, I feel like this group is about to start an ascension process. And I feel like the divine is, is you know, going to bring someone new in that's going to match your energy if this person doesn't get it together. It's like their spirit guides and your spirit guides are just kind of watching this person right now to see what they're going to do. You know, so I can tell what they want to do is they want to they want to be vulnerable. They want to be open. They want to be honest. They want to tell you they might have kept secrets in the past and they want to open up to you about these secrets. Is what I'm hearing. I'm hearing Jeff for somebody. There might be someone named Jeff. 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 <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> That's just for one person. Um... But yeah, I just feel like, it's like, I don't want to say they're back and forth still. It's just, they, there's a sense of urgency. Like, I think that your spirit guards are kind of telling this person like, hey, I don't know. I don't want to say they set a deadline for them. Cause I mean, I know spirits work in different ways. Like, I don't think they have, I don't want to say that they have timelines the same way we do. You know what I mean? Like energy is just. It's so up and down. It's so hard to predict sometimes. But I am getting the sense that they're not going to give this person much more of a chance. This person's going to really have to take this leap of faith and take a risk for love and be vulnerable with you and open up and share their secrets. Or they're going to lose you and the divine is going to bring you a, a different potential life partner. So I feel like this, this person, it's like you guys were meant to be together, but they got off that destined path because they listened to... They might have listened to their own fears and doubts or other people's opinions. So, but in the moment, right now they are wanting, they, they're wanting this, but it's just a matter of if they're going to do it. What else do you want to see about this? What else is going on with this? Sex, seduction, domination, control, true love, potential life partner, fast moving energy, chaos, sudden turn of events. Honestly, you might be seduced by someone who's more in more of like male or female, someone who's in more of an alpha energy. You might find yourself, this could be at a club or a party, or this could be um, 
And for some reason, for someone, I'm getting like the kink community or something. But I'm getting, um, I don't know if this has happened yet for you guys necessarily, but I feel like you might be out somewhere and you might meet someone that's kind of like more in like this alpha energy. And this might be another potential life partner. Like this might come in quickly, kind of unexpectedly. You know, I think it's up to you, though, too. I think that some of you need to talk to your spirit guides about what you want, because some of you are kind of torn. Like you feel these two different potential life partners, like you can feel them in your energy field, I think, even if you haven't met the second person yet. I think you're still telepathically connecting with the second person, even if you're not like fully aware of who they are yet. Does that make sense? It's like you kind of feel you're going to meet someone or you feel like love is in the cards for you. You feel like it's your turn for love, basically. You feel me? So some of you need to talk to your spirit guides because for some, I think your spirit guides are almost like, like, like they need to know what you want. Some of them are going back and forth. Like they don't know if they should focus on getting this person to come back around or focus on this new person. You know, people often make the mistake of thinking that spirits have all the answers and that's not always the case. I mean, spirits are... You know, they can, they can get it. I mean, they're, of course, you know, a lot of them, I guess, are above us. But I mean, they're, they can get it wrong just like we can. You know what I mean? It's like they, sometimes it's hard for, I feel like sometimes it's hard for spirits because they're, they've ascended so much. And I mean, there's all different types of spirits, of course. But I mean, sometimes it's hard for them to understand the human con condition, depending on what kind of spirits you're dealing with. So sometimes you really have to sit and talk to them because sometimes it's like, I don't, I don't want to say they don't understand our language, but it's like, sometimes I feel like they get confused by the energy and you have to sit and talk to them and you have to be like, Hey, I want this X back. This is what I want. I know for sure that I want this. Or you can say, Hey, you know what? I want to do a cut and clear ritual. I want to be free of this energy and I want to manifest this new person. I'm open to new love. You know, like talk to your spirit guys because sometimes, you know, sometimes it's hard for them to figure out what you want if your energy is back and forth. If you're like, oh, I miss this person. I love them. But, oh, wait, I miss, I want this new person. Like, oh, I hate this person. I love this person. I don't know what I feel about this person. Maybe I want this new love. Maybe I don't. It's like sometimes you have to really get clear about what the universe and with your spirit guides about what you want. And, and, you know, you can write it down. You can do manifestation. But some of you might meet somebody unexpectedly here is what I'm getting. But yeah, be clear with your guides. Um, I hope that resonates. I hope that makes sense. And as always, if you want a private reading, just email me. My email is in the description box below. My email is dragonenchantress at AOL.com. Like I said, you can just copy and paste it if you just check this description box below this video. Any donations are appreciated. My donation links are also below. Um, it really means a lot to me. And thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if this resonates. Thanks.